Well, hey, friends. Welcome into our kitchen. Um, I hope that you saw where this pretty little girl was in the kitchen with me. We did it a few months back. This is Jenna Kennard. So I thought today that I would invite Jenna back to come into the kitchen with me because I wanted to share with her my meatball recipe. You know, meatballs always, they fascinated me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I kept trying to make them good and I just really could never make them like what, what it was in my head. You know, every meatball I'd ever had, you fried them in the pan or right, did them in the oven. Right. That's how I've always done Yeah, that. and then they get that real hard mm -hmm. crust. I didn't like that hard crust. I wanted a succulent, juicy meatball. So one day I got in here in the kitchen and I said, I'm not quitting until I've come up with what I think the perfect meatball is. Well, I think I did it, Jenna. And people that I feed it to, they really, really like it. So let me tell y'all how I did it. I fixed me a big pot of beef stock. And I did that by using just the cartons of beef stock, or sometimes I'll use, this is a wet, wet base that you can find in the grocery store. It's in the soup okay. section of the grocery store. And I'll use this to okay. make me up a real, you know, I want that stock real, real rich. Because I'm gonna boil our meatballs. Really? Yes, I'm gonna boil them in that beef stock. Oh, I am so excited. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them over in our marinara and they're gonna be succulent and light and tender. I, I hope. cannot wait to try these. I hope. <laughs> so, let's see where we get started. I think I'm gonna start with some ends and pieces of some bacon that I bought. Yeah. Look, I'm just oh, gonna pull that. it out. Y'all, about, um, about six years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting um, a man by the name of Frankie Pellegrino. Uh, Frank was an actor, mm -hmm. and he was one of the owners, co-owners, of Rayo's in New York. Have you ever heard of Rayo's? I haven't. So Frank was kind enough to come down and show me the way he made his marinara. And I'm telling, he didn't do the meatballs. He just did the marinara, and it was out of this world. He starts his marinara now by using a fat back. Okay. Oh my goodness. And that's why it's so delicious. So I'm gonna take these ends and pieces of this bacon, and I'm just gonna brown that off. So, <laughs> Jenna, you wanna hear something crazy? Yes, tell me. You know, I'm bad about putting things in my drawers around here, and uh -huh. you know, I'll usually only go so deep, I'll just work off the top. Well, when I was looking for a pot to make our sauce in, I found this beautiful pot, and it's from Italy. Oh, and look, wow. um, Raffoni, I guess it is, but look on this side. Look right here. Paula, Paula and Michael. Somebody gave it to us as a wedding gift. Are you just now seeing that for I'm the first just, time? Yes. Oh, that's you know, amazing. I don't know where my head stays sometimes. <laughs> You know, you just get so busy that you just sometimes almost don't pay attention. Well, that is so special. What a surprise. I know it. I love it. And look at the beautiful lid. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's got the gold. Uh, it's beautiful. So doesn't that bacon smell good? It smells, smells so good, good, doesn't it? Does? Oh, my gosh. Yes, it smells good. He's ready for a little piece uh -huh, of ball he's the ready. there. All right, so while that's browning, I'm gonna um, chop me up some onion. Okay. So I'm gonna put these onions in there. Here's the uh, sad part. I think about Frank so often uh, because that was a very special day he made that sauce for me. I, it just blew me away. Um, and I found out that he has recently passed away. So uh, this show is certainly in memory of of Frankie uh, Pellegrino. 
Well, cheers to Frankie. Yes, yes. He knew how to make a marinara. So let's take a quick break, and uh, I'm going to just kind of straighten up right here, and then we'll be right back, and I'll show you how I put these meatballs together. So y'all make sure you come right back. Yeah, I had some garlic in there. We'll just chop that little sucker right on up. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to um, put together our meatballs. And, you know, your meatballs, they're, they're pretty basic. Uh, I've probably never made uh, the same meatball twice. Uh, but I do always use three different kinds of meat for my meatballs. Mm. I've got an Italian sausage. Love it. I've got ground beef, and I've got ground turkey. So, in the bowl oh. that goes. And now I'm gonna put just some Italian seasoning. Like I said, they, they, these are very basic, kind of the standard things that people put in it. And I'm gonna put some garlic powder. And I just don't measure this, y'all. I kind of just do it. Let's see. All right, before I go any further, our... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. You need another one? Please. You know what, Paul? I think it's so amazing how someone's legacy can just live on, and, and it's so tragic and devastating to lose someone we love, but I know how it. incredible is this that we get to use this sauce I know. with your meatballs? I, I just know it. I think it's beautiful. Forever. Mm -hmm. And I'm not one to use prepared products. Yeah. You know, it's just not my thing, but this is good. When you find something that good, you just That's stick right. with it. That's right. You just stick with it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Why don't you, okay. since you're sitting there, why don't you grate my parm oh, for me? absolutely. And I'm gonna put two eggs in here. Okay. And I love using... Um, panko, is that what Panko, that there? yes, yeah. I love using panko. Now you can use fresh breadcrumbs, do them up in your, in your food processor. Um, saltine, sometimes I'll use saltine crackers. Sometimes I'll use oatmeal. I'll put oatmeal oh, in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, like when I make a meatloaf, I'll use oatmeal mm -hmm. because it puffs up and makes things lighter. So I'm gonna use about that much breadcrumbs. That was probably maybe a cup and a half. And I'm gonna add a little milk. I think I am gonna put a little bit of oatmeal in it. What do you think about that cheese? Oh, oh yeah, thank you. That's you. You're perfect. You're so welcome. So that goes right in here. Look at that. And I can't forget my salt and pepper, can I? The basics there. Okie doke. So. Oh, yeah. The best tools God gave us. That's right. <laughs> are going in the bowl. You know, I put my hands in, in everything. I just can't help myself. And I never I, go for the whisk or the spoon. I just no, dig I in. No, just, <laughs> just get in there and touch your food and massage it and you love it. You gotta love it. on it. You gotta love on it. Here we go. I like, you know, for presentation, mm -hmm. I just like to serve it in bowls right. with one big ball right. in the center. That wow factor. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, so you're just going to drop it on in there? I'm just going to drop them right in there. Okay. Look at that. And I'll let them cook for about 10 minutes. Okay. You know, it's so wonderful whenever you get to do what you love, surrounded mm. by people that you love. And I'm just so grateful for my team. We, we're like a family. Oh, absolutely. You know, I always described it, Jenna is when five o'clock came and we opened those restaurant doors. Yeah. It's like we went to battle together. Yeah, we that's went right. to war. That's right.
and yes. you, it has its moments. We have, we all have our yes. moments, but we, uh, at the yes. end of the night, we come together and come back together. Yes, it's and just uh, it's amazing. Pat everybody on the back That's and say, right. "Well, we survived another right. night." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to hear, Jenna, that everything's going well. Oh, thank you, Paula. Uh, you know, if that restaurant business was easy, everybody would be doing it. That's right. <laughs> it takes someone a little crazy, so. It does. You have to be a little crazy. Just a little kooky. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's go see what our sponsors have to say okay. uh, while I'm rolling the rest of these balls and getting them in the stock, and we'll be right back. I want y'all to be here for the tasting. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh, they look perfect. And look how quick you can have this done. Yeah, you whip that up in no time. I love to simmer mine for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes. You just want those meatballs to marinate in the marinara. One of my little grandsons is over here playing, so he will love having Guinea's meatballs for dinner tonight. <laughs> now, while y'all were gone and we were on break, I added to my sauce a couple of bay leaves, some fresh thyme, a little sprig of fresh rosemary, uh, more garlic powder, and more Italian seasoning. And that's it. It's just that easy. So simple. And well, now so, we whip up some bread for you this You can't sauce. have meatballs without bread, honey. But this is such an easy trick, Paula. Yeah. What I did was now I what's just- what's in there? I see some fresh thyme. There's some fresh thyme in there, a little olive oil and uh -huh. butter. Uh -huh. You just cook that on a low simmer for a couple minutes, uh -huh. really release all that flavor from uh -huh. the thyme. Uh-huh, I smell it, honey. Yeah, and we're just gonna brush that onto okay. our butter. Okay, Or onto our bread, I'm sorry. That's all right. I like putting butter on butter. Butter on butter. You can't go wrong, can you? <laughs> no. And we're going to toss it in the oven just for a couple minutes. Yeah. While you finish up your delicious sauce. And this sauce. is just like that Texas style Almost like that Texas bread, toast. right? Yeah. So I am going to just do a little bit of yes. salt and yes. pepper on this. Yes. You know, Jenna, I, I would rather have good bread than dessert. Oh, yeah. I really had, uh, you know, to me, when you go into a restaurant, the first thing they sit on your table is bread. And, and you think that must be for a reason. Yeah, and it's it's got to be good. Yeah. You know, if that bread's not good that they sit on your table, then makes you kind of leery. Mm-hmm. It does, doesn't it? what the rest of the meal. Now, honey, if you don't crack that broiler, Oh, it's going to get real hot you in there. Go, oh, gosh, you're going to have so burnt gonna, toast. We don't want that. So no. So going to watch this, and I'm just going to rotate it out in a minute okay. and get it all even. Okay. And then I'm going to show you another little trick. Okay. Something real easy. I can see that butter just starting to come. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Paula. Looks delicious. Nice and golden brown. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut that a, oven off if you're done Thank with you it. so much. I just took some garlic uh -huh, cloves. Uh -huh. I took them out of their skin. I'm just going to yeah. brush that on that. Yes. And it's this garlic is just going to melt yes. like it's, butter uh -huh. onto this toast. That's going to be that so good to dump oh, yes. down in that sauce. Oh, I cannot wait to taste it. I'm going to drop the pasta, Jenna. Okay. And this is that refrigerator. Uh, the refrigerated pasta, y'all, so it literally takes like two minutes to cook. But you can use the box or the refrigerator. And I've got my water boiling and it's had salt added to mm -hmm. it. You know, I think it's worth it just getting it all ready to go. That's one of the hardest yes. problems I have in the kitchen is waiting for the pasta to cook. All right, so we got a couple of minutes on that, Jenna, so why don't you stick that back in the oven? I've cut it off good. and let it stay hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna put our plate together. And I'm gonna be wishing that y'all were right here. 
the way to my heart right there in that bowl. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. I know it. How can you go wrong with butter and pasta? Mm. All right, now we're just going to nestle him. Oh, my gosh. Right down in there. I wish you guys could smell this. <laughs> I it know. Is unbelievable. I know. Clean up our plate. I'm just going to go ahead and brush this bread with a okay. little more of our special mixture here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's one. <laughs> Look at that. A little rough cut of ground pepper. Oh, and we'll awesome. need spoons and a fork, baby. Here we go, right here. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Can't forget a Jenna, bread Oh either. no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so <laughs> excited. If right they now. are not good, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> There's no way that they won't be. Oh, look at that. Paula, that is so <laughs> succulent. I it can is. see the cheese pulling oh, in there. Gosh. Yes. <laughs> Here goes. Cheers. Bon appetit, y'all. <laughs> Day. Mm -hmm. When you made that Ooh. peanut butter and jealous, I returned the favor. <laughs> Paula, that's listen, the best I thing love I a good, have. I love a good smack. You know, if you're a cook, there is nothing, nothing that makes you happier than to feed somebody's soul along with their belly. Let me tell you, you something. know, to know that they like it. And Let me tell you, this this meatball is doing something to me. I'm <laughs> not quite sure what, but this is the best meatball I've ever had. Thank you. Are you sure you don't have some Italian blood in you? Not a drop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you, you wild woman. <laughs> For us to be so apart <laughs> in age, I feel like that you and I share a lot when it comes to the kitchen. You know what? The way we feel, our passion, our love, and love for other people. And I feel them. the same way, and let me tell you something, that means so much coming from you. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, come on. Mmm. Oh, General. Yeah? Look, mm. don't forget your vegetable. Oh. <laughs> Keeping it healthy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eat your parsley. <laughs> oh, I will never not cook my meatballs like this from here on out. They well, will, thank you. I it mean, makes all the difference in the world. It right really now. does. It and didn't I mean, take me but sixty-eight years to figure that out. Well, it's perfect. <laughs> and thank God that we have you to spread along <laughs> this recipe. Y'all have to try it because it does make a world Just difference. Just all the difference in the world. It's so succulent, and you don't get uh -huh, that tender, hard, uh -uh. you know, well, outer. Look at that. See that meatball, oh, y'all? beautiful. I so wish y'all were here to taste it. I do, too. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Now mm. you see it, now you don't. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Paula, thank the you so The bread's perfect with it, Jenna. You know, it really... You can really taste the, mm -hmm. the oil from that garlic mm -hmm. and, and the thyme. The thyme. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, if you're not fortunate enough to get to Rayo's in New York, uh, you can do this at home and you can mm. do it so easily. So I hope y'all will try it. And Jenna, thanks so much for coming mm. back and investing me in the kitchen. I just love having you here. Like I said, I feel like such a connection to you. Mm, you're so uh, sweet, Paula. In this kitchen. Mm. So. We'll see y'all next we'll time. See y'all next time. <laughs> oh.
made in Georgia.